Mm. <laughs> Why'd I do it? Why'd I have to watch this shit? After I had an unfortunate day today. I had to watch this shit. I actually want the old Liv Morgan back. I miss the old Liv Morgan, as a matter of fact. I do. Because this one, this lesbian-esque Liv Morgan, I'm not feeling this Kit Kat lesbian shit. I'm not. Oh, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about you, Lana. How could you marry him? You know you don't love him. You told me that when I was going down on you. This cringe has got my number now. It know just what I done. I got no place to hide. I got nowhere to run. Oh, I think it's time for me to cringe. Mm. I am gonna cringe. Look what I just did. I am gonna cringe. I had to watch that shit. I don't know what I was thinking, and I can't get it out of my head. It's time to cringe. It's time to cringe. It's time to cringe over Liv Morgan's shit. I think my mucus flap is returning now that I saw that shit. Just when I was feeling better. I've heard. Rather, I ran across JD from New York 206 video. He says that it's entitled. This is the worst segment in WWE. It's bad, but ain't nothing compared to Bobby Lashley's sisters of 2018. None compared to that shit. That shit was fucking god awful. I'm surprised lightning didn't struck the whole building, killing everybody in that motherfucker. I'm surprised that shit didn't happen. This is fucking ridiculous, man. It really is. Yeah, this Liv Moore, I ain't feeling... I'm not, man. She was... even Despite the fact that she was much hotter in that last vignette when she was in that fucking hot tub and shit. When she was in that fucking bathrobe. She was much hotter there. You know, she was wearing a fucking pants suit looking like Hillary Clinton 2.0 and shit. You know what I'm saying? I object! <laughs> and no, I'm not a fucking homophobe. I don't give a shit who's gay or fucking lesbian. Like I said before, as long as the motherfuckers ain't trying to fuck with me, I'm cool. Meaning gay people. It's just the fact that it's so wrong. It's. Uh, I mean, some people are saying this is going to lead up to her becoming darker. What you mean, the fiends, bitch? That everybody was thinking of? At least a lot of people was. Some people are laughing at you. Ah, you like, how do you feel? Those who thought she was going to be Sister Abigail. Ha ha ha. People know they fucking sick. 
they they get off on people being upset and, and disappointed. You guys are fucking insane. You feel good that somebody was wrong and shit. You know what I'm saying? How does it feel? How does it feel to be a fucking idiot living in his mother's basement typing that shit? Ain't paying no fucking rent. Got no job. No girl wants your ass. And you weigh 500 fucking pounds. How does that feel, fuckface? Jesus Christ. Fuck, man. How does it feel? All I said was, my last video, I said, <coughs> when I saw that vignette, I was like, nah, this ain't no fucking dark Sister Abigail type of shit. This is fucking Liv Morgan destroying her old self, which actually meant She's coming out the fucking closet. That's what it meant. When she was saying she was destroying herself. It meant she's coming out the fucking closet. It's that simple. Cool. I just missed the old living Morgan. When the blue tongue and the fucking the punk looking chick. You know, she, at, at least she fucking stood out. I mean, she stood out at least. Yeah, I know I repeat myself. I like doing that shit. 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 Ah! Look at my teeth. Ah. Okay, uh. Yeah, I mean, this segment. Three out of fucking ten, man. If I gotta score that motherfucker, three out of ten. It was underwhelming. It wasn't exciting. I was watching it looking like this the whole fucking time. And then... When Liv Morgan and Lana was fighting in the ring and shit, Lana showing her fucking panties and those gorgeous ass cheeks. And I'm thinking like, rather looking like, if I was much younger, let's say 20 years younger, I'd be like, show some more ass. Oh my God. My parents can't afford the internet. <laughs> We're goofing around the side, man. I thought it was it was fucking boring, man. But if you caught that look on Lashley's face, he's like, I was pretty much sympathizing with him. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? You know. And people was telling her, watch your step. Watch your step. And she looked down like a dumbass. Like, huh? <laughs> I think they was fucking with her. <laughs> I don't know why they say, well, what, what is it? A trip wire over there that you guys can see that she can't? You know. <laughs> fucking name. I didn't get my caffeine on this fucking shit. Pissed me off so much. Hmm. I get my caffeine high going, baby. Oh, yeah. My mom turned me on to pure leaf tea. Ah, ah shit. The worst part about this fucking mucus flare up is over. This is finishing touches and shit. Ah, shit, man. Probably got allergies. I don't know what the fuck I'm half. I'm probably allergic to fucking trees and shit. Cause I'm fucked. There's trees all over the fucking neighborhood. Oh God! <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, what can I say, man? I think the best part. I'm gonna be honest with you. The best part of the fucking segment was Lana exposing her panties. I'm sorry. 
I'm just being honest. Yeah, I'm a fucking freak. You shouldn't be surprised. I thought that was the best part. Shit. Despite the fact I was looking like this. <laughs> so, with that being said, this Y chromosome, man, signing out. Peace and love.